morning. How are you this morning? This will all make sense in a moment if I can get it to work. I tried to make a tent. <laughs> Welcome to my makeshift tent. This is one of my favorite things, one of the boys' favorite things to do is to uh, make a tent in the backyard. Now we actually own a tent, a camping tent, but uh, it's more fun to try to see how we can how we can make one out of things that we have already in the house and in the backyard. So that's what we do. Anyway, I wanted to read a scripture for you this morning that comes from uh, comes from this next week this next weekend's lectionary. This is what inspired me to come out here and try to make a tent today. Just as we have the same spirit of faith that is in accordance with Scripture, I believed and so I spoke. We also believe and so we speak, because we know that the one. We know that the Lord, the one who raised the Lord Jesus, will raise us also with Jesus and will bring us with you into his presence. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So, do we, so we do not lose heart. Even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure. Because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. For we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. I was struck by how at the end of this passage, which is um, uh, starts in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, and goes through chapter 5, verse 1. I, I was struck by how this last verse talks about the earthly tent. It talks about our, our bodies, our physical selves as the earthly tent. Um, that's interesting, isn't it? And, uh, you know, it causes me to reflect on first century t travelers needing to just kind of build tents alongside the road, perhaps to shade themselves or uh, to have a little protection from the elements. And they probably weren't much more sophisticated than this one. <laughs> and uh, think about the things that we love about tents. I hope some of you are, I hope there's still some tent campers out there. I, I love camping in a tent. I love being able to um, 
you know, be close to my loved ones. I love being able to see the stars. Um, fans are, are mobile and flexible and give us the opportunity to, to move around and change our, uh, our dwelling spot and, um, you know, make a home in different, different places. And that's really the beauty of our physical bodies too, the, the flexibility that they give us, the opportunity to be close, to be, to experience uh, the joys of creation and of life, right? But they're temporary. They're never meant to be uh, a permanent dwelling. They're fragile. You know, a, a straw, as you saw when I was trying to, if you saw me trying to put this one together. Um, they're, they're fragile, they're uh, easily um, battered by strong elements, and they don't last forever. So I'm thinking today about how do I need to cherish this particular tent that I'm in and appreciate the, the mobility and also the the shelter and the proximity to loved ones and to nature that it allows. But also keep in mind that it's not my forever home. And uh, that even when eventually this one um, ceases to function as a shelter for me, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands eternal in the heavens. And so on the days when my, my earthly tent here is not maybe treating me so well or, or doing exactly what I would like, um, I have that also to look forward to. And it's helped me to re remember that, um, you know, the, the challenges we face in this earthly body are because it is it is meant to be temporary and our home with God is eternal and that love and protection and grace of eternity surrounds us even now in our earthly tents so as you're camping along today in your earthly tent I hope you feel blessed by that assurance by God's presence with you and uh, by the promise um, that you are sheltered uh, permanently by God's love. Take care, everybody. It's been good to spend some time with you this morning. Thanks for visiting my tent, and I'll hope to see you soon. God's peace.